Gaffer, last time on the coach this season, what are your thoughts ahead of Charlton? Exactly that, last time on the coach this season. Um, yeah, it's been a long season, lots of travelling, especially over the last few weeks. There's been a lot of travelling um, and we have seemed to have had that a little bit this season. I think, um, you know, when you get a couple of cup games, long journeys that you have away from home, I think it rolls into the league. Um, but yeah, we're going to a really good place. Uh, very, very good football club. Um, historically, you know, Charlton have done fantastic over the years. I remember when Alan Kirbishley was in charge and I think probably for about four or five years, I voted for him as my manager of the year because I thought he was doing such a brilliant job at a real, real good football club. Obviously, there's a change of setting for this pre-match interview, not at the training ground today. It's getting relayed, I believe, the pitch getting redone. Yeah, I mean, there's lots of things, you know, that are, that are going on and it has been going on for probably over 12 months, really, with the training ground. So the training ground um, is on phase two of, of the upgrade. You, you won't necessarily see too much difference in a couple of months, um, but the pitches that we're playing on have certainly been better down the bottom half of the, of the ground um, and now we're doing the main pitch and there's a lot more drainage to be done so as we don't have those bad days when we get that bit of torrential rain and we can't get on there. So, yeah, there's lots of good things that are going on down there as well, yeah. All ahead of next season, I assume, then? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we won't be that back down there this year now. It will be um, a couple of sessions, but we'll be training on the pitch now, so, yeah. We're getting to that time of year as well where the academy scholars could be getting off of professional deals. How far along the process is that? I think the process is nearly done now. I, I spoke to... Um, I mean, Dave will be the one that will drive that, really. He'll, he'll, um, he'll ask my opinion on a few things. And um, mainly I trust Dave with that. Dave Longwell, um, he's, he's worked with youth team players throughout his career, so he's... That's more, you know, his speciality really in the development of them. Obviously, we have quite a few of the young players up training with us because I always think that young players around a group are always fresh, enthusiastic. Uh, they keep the tempo of the session high. They don't always run in the right places, but the one thing they do do is run. So, therefore, the session flows uh, very well when they're up with us. So I think there's a couple of um, decisions that have, have got to be made or have probably been made in the last 24, 48 hours. And um, I don't know when the club or Dave are planning on putting that out, but that'll be, that'll be out very soon, I would imagine. Okay. You mentioned Elliot Bennett had a scan. <clears throat> have you heard back from that yet? Yeah, well, it's good news, really, regarding his scan. We don't quite know where he'll be um, for tomorrow. Um, but there could be a possibility that he could be back before the end of the season. So we're really pleased about that. I think what happened before the Sunderland game, Elliot had rolled his ankle and the pitch at Sunderland was quite firm. And I think it's funny because I couldn't remember anything in that game where I thought he'd done anything. But then all of a sudden he started limping and he wouldn't be limping if, if he could run it off. So... Hopefully, um, there's not too much of an issue. He had a bit of swelling, but that seems to be reducing. So, hopefully, he could be OK for next week. I'm just not sure about this week. Okay, fair enough. Well, that is good news. That it mm. is good news. Yeah. Yeah, really good news. I understand as well. Alan Wilbraham's got an operation coming up as well. Will he be absent for the next couple of games? He'll be at Charlton. Um, but he's got an operation on on Monday down in London, so we probably won't see him. I don't know if he'll be at the Wigan fixture. I think that'll just be pain-dependent, really. But he's got to have a, a foot operation that he's probably needed now for, I don't know, probably the best part of eight, nine months. So we've more or less put it off. But the thing is, if we put it off... Until and the season finishes, so Aaron gets to see the last game. If we put it off, he can't get it done for another three weeks after the season. So rehabilitation for coming back into pre-season then 
it wouldn't be ideal. So we'll lose him for the last week, but um, but that'll be okay. We can we can manage for that. Okay. Well, we wish him all the best. Mm, of course. And then just finally, everybody else okay in the squad? Yeah, there there won't be any changes. Obviously, you know the closest one will be Elliot Bennett, but I'm not I'm not really sure on that. We had one illness this week, um, and we'll be making um, a check on that one later today. Okay. Thank you, Gaffer. Okay.